Okay, Jim here, and we're back playing Ambush. And we're about to uh, roll for the next event for the next action round. And we roll a 14. And let's take a look at random event 14, and it is S4580. And we have not had sighting 4 yet. So let's find out what happens. Dang. 580. S5 required. Well, we have not had S5, so we do not need to worry about it. Okay, good. Now we'll roll for initiative. Germans are black as usual. And it's a 55. I wonder who wins the ties. Well, the ties go to the Germans. Ugh, unfortunate. All right, so 55, so Eaton we can remove now. He will, he's incapacitated and won't be doing anything any longer. So let's see, we'll put my guys on the five on the disadvantage side. Possible panic here. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. And here. And here, possible panic for C. Okay, so, and then we have Q on a 5 on the advantage side goes here, and N going there. So the possible panics are G and C. So let's take a look. Everybody's close together here, so no problem with panic for the Americans this turn. Oh, one little problem. A is here. Right. Because we're on the disadvantage side, which is the blue stripe. So N will be acting first. Roll for a German activation number. And we get an 8. Or an action number, right? So, let's see what the special rules are, because he is still wounded. Okay. Wounded soldier subject to the following restrictions. Uh, can only receive one turn per round. Oh, yes! If he's supposed to get two, put him in the one turn round instead. He cannot use his weapon skill to modify assaulting attacker's hit chance. When a wounded soldier makes an assault, he gets a minus two against him. His port box total is reduced to one. Put an X through one box. If he's carrying two port boxes of equipment, he must immediately drop the contents of one port box. If the item he's carrying is a two box item, he must drop it immediately. A wounded soldier cannot be given a turn or made aware by a commander. There is a minus two modifier to the base hit chance for wounded soldiers throwing a satchel charge or a grenade. Minus one for them firing a weapon. Movement point allowance reduced to two. Never receives a free stance change. Okay, so that is great because that means he doesn't go until the second turn of the round. So A, C, F, and H all get to go before him. Ooh, that, that gives me some options. And the other thing I'm trying to figure out is how that relates to his, uh, he would be, he's carrying, a, normally carrying a, uh, um, the medium machine gun, well he doesn't really, he's not really carrying it around right now, so he's got the pistol and two grenades, the grenades don't take up a port box, the pistol doesn't take up a port box, so really the machine gun uh, really, the machine gun is what takes up his port boxes, so uh, this would appear to indicate that he cannot use the machine gun. He certainly cannot carry it. Um, yeah, in fact, yeah, so let me take a look and see uh, what happens there. Okay, so I checked, and it uh, looks like it only takes up uh, their port boxes, which are, you know, for our guys, these two boxes. I don't know why they call them port boxes. Maybe they call maybe that stands for portage. Anyways, those um, are only uh, used up while you're carrying the machine gun. So, and I was actually thinking, wouldn't it be great if I could get that machine gun and take it with me? But the problem is, is I I don't have a way to get inside the pillbox. The only way possible of getting in is is if I was to fire a bazooka and I was at, on the door side of the pillbox and I hit the door then it would breach the door if it, uh, potentially and then I could go in 
Um, but, you know, the odds of pulling that off are not that great. You know, there's a lot of chance of hitting something other than the door if I fire at it. Um, so, I'm probably not going to try to go for some means of doing, capturing this machine gun. So anyways, F, H, C, and A have an opportunity to, to do something. Uh, or Anderson could give an, a command to somebody else. Okay, uh, so I double-checked uh, some rules here, and it turns out that a, a crouching soldier cannot see a crouching soldier through an adjacent window. At least one of them has to be standing in that situation um, when they're adjacent like this. So what I'm going to do with F is have him prepare a satchel charge because uh, that means when he gets his next chance to do something he should be able to just drop it into the window. So F prepares his satchel charge for his action. By the way, it was lucky that F did not end up on a panic space because he would have panicked because he was out of range of his leadership. Now, let's see. I don't know if there makes much sense on having H try to get any closer. Um, you know, it's almost like he should consider continuing down the river in the canoe or something uh, at this point. Um, so what I'll do with H is, let's see, well, first of all, so F prepared his satchel charge, H also has a satchel charge, so H will prepare his satchel charge. I think that this time I'll be a little bit more prepared for needing to do that. Alright, so he's done his action, and then, and then we're going to put him underneath for a minute. Now... So H has acted, and now we have A and C yet to act. So my thought was, is, I mean, I could have taken a shot with the bazooka here, um, but since I should be able, since this guy shouldn't see me, I should have a chance of using the bazooka later uh, as an emergency measure. But this way I can avoid using my limited bazooka ammo um, unless absolutely necessary because trying to shoot it through uh, a window, I would have a five, six, seven. Well, actually, I'm not even allowed to shoot it unless I can see the target. I can't just shoot it in an open window, as it turns out. And shooting it against the, the wall of the pillbox it would have to get a heavy penetration result, which is only on a, um, uh, let's see, you have to have a pretty high uh, 8 or 9 to get a heavy penetration result with the bazooka, and that's just not going to do it. Uh, so what I'll do instead is have Cheng just stay where he is and take a free stance change. Uh, so he's ready to do something next round. Um, so that takes care of Cheng. He didn't really do anything. And then we have Anderson who gets to do something. So Anderson could give someone else a turn, which might be worth considering. Um, I could give Bastinelli or uh, or, uh, but I could give somebody a term, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. 